Hey Team Acura, I'm Jonathan Rivers with Acura Product Planning, and I'm here at our secret proving ground in the middle of the Mojave Desert. And if that sounds familiar, just because a few months ago we were here introducing the TLX Type S, but today we're here for the next chapter with the all new MDX Type S. So we're gonna walk around, talk about some of the new exterior changes, interior changes, and powertrain changes that make the MDX Type S special. So let's go and start from the front. The first thing you'll notice is the menacing diamond pentagon grille. And yes, just like the TLX Type S, it has the new open surface design. But there's a few key differences from TLX Type S that we should point out. The surround for the grille is actually body color this time, which really helps to blend in and give MDX Type S an aggressive stance. You'll also notice for the mesh itself, it's a gloss black finish that really gives it an aggressive design. Additionally, you'll notice the lower fascia for MDX Type S is completely different, exclusive from all of the other trims. And it was designed and styled that way to support the additional cooling for the Type S engine and to improve aerodynamics. Now, speaking of engines, just like the TLX Type S, this has the same 3-liter V6 turbocharged engine, producing an impressive 355 horsepower and 354 foot-pounds of torque. And that's made it to our in-house 10-speed transmission with super handling all-wheel drive coming as standard. Now, there's two trims to MDX Type S, and we're standing next to the fully loaded advanced trim. So you'll notice some other additional features like the surround view camera here in the grill, uh, LED fog lights, and a lot of other premium touches which we'll get to on the interior. And as you come along the side here, one of the first things you'll notice is the very aggressive wheel and tire package, our largest ever fitted on an Acura vehicle. 21 inch size wheels, Berlina black with machine finish for a very aggressive design. And of course behind it, just like the TLX Type S, we have our electro servo braking system with Brembo four piston front calipers. Alongside the vehicle, you'll notice a lot of gloss black elements, including the actual fender flares, the mirror caps, and even the molding around the windows which all make MDX Type S have a very aggressive and sporty design. Now let's take a look at the rear of the vehicle and see how it all comes together. You'll notice that aggressive design continues with the dark accent tail lights, the gloss black treatment, and the gloss black rear diffuser, which wraps around the quad exhaust finishers just like the TLX Type S. It even has the same active exhaust valve system that changes the volume and the sound quality depending on the drive mode you set inside. Now, as we take a look, you'll see exclusive Type S branding. And because this is the advanced spec with all of the features and trims, it even has the hands-free access for utility. So with a quick kick under the rear diffuser, you get the tailgate to open up, You'll notice the same premium three row seating as all MDXs, but with this being a Type S version, we have the battery of the vehicle here in the rear for better weight distribution. And with this being the advanced trim, you have all the top safety and tech features. Now lastly, we have the walk away auto lock function, which I'll demonstrate now, and we'll move to the inside to show you all those new techs and features. I mean, just wow. Look at the interior of the MDX Type S. It truly has taken Acura to the next level for premium touch points, materials, technologies, and features. So let's talk about a few of the things that first stand out. I think the moment you'll sit in, you'll notice the high contrast stitching and piping throughout. And I mean, these seats, they have an all new quilted seat design on the top trim of Type S and it looks unbelievable. But not only do they look amazing, but for the first time, both the driver and passenger have a massage seat function, 
and it's very easy to get to. It's a simple button on the dash. And when you push that, you actually have nine-way functionality for the massage seats, the most in the class and the best in the class for sure. So now every commute you have is going to be amazing. And I mean, I guess the next thing I look over and see is this amazing speaker grill, which is a part of the all new ELS Studio 3D signature audio system. It has 25 speakers, 1000 watts of power. And I mean, just look at this, the speaker cone, which is made of carbon fiber, actually illuminates with the ambient lighting theme throughout. It sounds incredible. And of course, beyond that, there's some other new key technologies within MDX Type S. One of them is that the vehicle has air suspension. It gives you a whole new level of customization. And you'll notice even here in the dynamic mode, as you switch through, going from snow and then to the lift mode, you actually see that the vehicle rises up due to the air suspension, up to 50 millimeters in lift mode to give you that easy in and out access when you have rocks or other things in front of the vehicle. What's also neat is if you change the drive modes to let's say the Sport Plus, the suspension goes the other way. It actually goes down up to 15 millimeters to really bring the vehicle to an aggressive sporty stance and give you the best driving dynamics and acceleration possible. MDX Type S has truly raised the bar for accurate. Now on the MDX Type S, we're in the advanced version, and that has our new air suspension technology. It's a really, really great feature, and there's a lot of customization involved in it. So we're gonna walk through the different dynamic modes and talk about how it changes the ride height, as well as some settings that are embedded into the center display. So first, we're actually in comfort mode right now. Comfort and normal mode are basically the standard suspension height settings. Now, switching the dynamic mode using the center dial changes the driving mode. And from comfort, you go to snow. And from snow, you go to lift mode. The vehicle is actually slowly raising up. In lift mode, it is approximately 50 millimeters higher than it raises itself. This is utilized when you're trying to get over smaller obstacles and things like that. Additionally, in the center digital display, you can actually see an icon that shows you the height adjustment as it's increasing step by step. Now we're in the highest setting of lift mode. If I switch backwards, you'll see the vehicle begin to lower itself back down to the standard setting. And additionally, the further you work your way up the sport mode, you'll notice the vehicle actually lowers itself even further, approximately 15 millimeters. So that really helps when you're in those more sporty, aggressive drive modes, and it really lowers the vehicle down and gives you that better driving dynamic performance. Now lastly, within the center display, you can actually work your way over to the settings menu. Click there, and then click on vehicle. Within there, you'll notice a new option that says suspension options. If you click that, it actually gives you two different settings. One is called parked height, and the other one is called leveling control. To start with parked height, you click there, and it gives you three options, high, auto, and low. Now, you select the vehicle height when the vehicle is off, and it's selecting auto, it will use the height of the last dynamic mode that we just explained. But at the same time, if you always wanted the vehicle to start down low or high, you could select either of those options as well. And lastly, with leveling control, if you click there, it gives you three options again. One is to level the vehicle automatically based on your cargo load. Now, you'll want to turn this feature off when servicing the vehicle, and separately when towing, there's a special towing mode set for that as well. This air suspension technology is fantastic, and it's available now on the MDX Type S, and it's a first for accurate.